Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. It is awesome to be on with you. Um, I'm preparing right this moment to release a word based on a vision that I received actually about seven weeks ago. Uh, the Lord brought it back to my attention this morning um, as I was in early worship with the Lord. He kept reminding me of the vision and um, I knew today was the day to release the word. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the last videos I've released. Um, some of them have more teaching because I feel like the Lord wants you to not just hear the word, but understand what's going on and what to do with it. Amen. And so, um, this is, I, I can say all day long, it's going to be short and sweet, but you know, it doesn't always happen that way. Um, be watching the website. We are in the middle of redoing things, getting a whole new website going. Um, Keep up with the YouTube channel here. You'll be able to know more about what's going on. We are preparing a uh, Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah celebration conference. It's going to be based on prophecy, uh, basically releasing prophecy over Florida and Israel and basically letting the lion out of the cage. And so the Lord's put it on my heart to do that. And it will be somewhere between Orlando and Tampa in this area and so um be ready to come and you're going to be seeing the registration on that coming up soon just be watching for it um it'll be sent out by mass email also so be watching for it check your emails um we are excited about that also planning the next pakistan crusade we will start fundraising for that very soon so keep that in your your mind and heart and spirit that that is coming. Um, the fire nights, we will be headed to Oklahoma to do a youth event. And uh, we're very, very excited about that. Um, God is calling us there to do a youth revival. And so um, we are gonna be putting that on the calendar. Uh, my expectation is towards the end of September. And so be watching for that um, Oklahoma, okay? Um, there's so many things, you guys, you just need to subscribe to our email so you get information on what's going on so you don't miss stuff, okay? Um, check out our website for other things. Um, uh, some stuff you can't really participate with me in, like I'm going to Brazil in November. I'll be doing um, teaching at a prophetic, prophetic school, um, activating the prophetic, all that stuff, and then releasing the fire. Um, at a conference there and so there's just things that are going on I'll be in Brazil doing that and so there's a lot happening and I'm excited for all that God's doing and um, just be paying attention to everything okay guys also anointed to win go to Amazon get my book you can go to our our merch store spiritmoveministry.co and get the shirt you can't really see it here but it's anointed to win and we also have a hoodie also so um, go get the shirt and uh, just it's a declaration you guys we're anointed to win amen we're anointed to win okay so back to the word that the Lord gave me um, he as I was deep in worship and this was like I said about seven weeks ago and the Lord reminded me this morning and said it was time to release it and so um, he had continued to give me a vision of like a glass wall being hit and shattered and um and so as i sat in the vision i was like okay that's weird weird just so you know it's prophets are weird we're weird he tells us things in weird ways and so um it seems weird but really nothing's weird anymore it's way past that okay um so I'm just going to read to you the word that he gave me when he gave me the vision of a glass wall breaking, being basically smashed and knocked down, okay? The Lord gave me a vision of glass, like a glass wall being shattered. He said, I'm breaking down everything that is unseen, everything that looks clear but is not. Pay attention, you guys. I know you can rewind this, but still, pay attention. And I'm going to pray for you at the end, and we're going to have an amazing time. 
that is unseen. I'm breaking down everything that is unseen, everything that looks clear, but it is not. I'm breaking it down. I'm smashing it to pieces. These walls of glass will no longer be in the way and cause hindrance in the lives of my people and their ministries. The glass is being exposed. This glass that can't be seen, it's an illusion to the eye that it's not there, but it's there. Everything in the heavenlies is preparing to crush those hidden walls of glass, those hidden things that are easily missed um, in the unseen, as heaven prepares to come and pour out on another level, pour out another level of revelation and truth. This will shatter the glass and the walls that have been built, um, built by it. Truth will be exposed on a grand scale. My people will begin to see what I've been doing all along. They will understand my ways on a greater level. As the glass is shattered and moved out of their way, these unseen things that have been hindering my people, that have been blocking their vision um, without you realizing they were there. It's time for the glass to be shattered and to come down. As the glass is removed and you see more clearly, my people, don't fear what you see on the other side. Don't fear the unseen. Don't fear the truth as it's exposed. Trust that all, basically trust that all things that get brought to the light are for your good and for his glory and for the moving forward of the end time remnant. It all starts in your home, with your own family, your own spouse, your own children, your own co-workers, your own church and beyond. What hasn't been visible to the naked eye is now becoming visible as the wall of glass gets removed that has skewed my people's vision, that has attempted to blind them and keep them from seeing clearly. This glass is being broken for my kingdom's sake. The truth hurts and it can get messy, but the truth sets you free. This is pre a preparation season um, of higher level, a higher level of revelation and deeper acknowledgement of the glory realms is upon you. And so to help you understand, if you're not catching what he's trying to tell you is there can be walls up that you don't see. They are invisible. They are blocks, they're demonic. Um, they might be something you built and you don't, you don't even know it's there. And so the reason why he used glass is because you can see through glass. So when you can see through it, you don't know it's there. You, you don't recognize there's a wall because you can't see it. You're looking right through it. Now, typically when you go up to a window, you should know that there's glass there. Not every child knows that and they have ran into a sliding glass door or two and smashed their face. So see, that's what's happening in the spirit. If I had a way to like put a clip in right here of most funniest home video kid running into like, you know, a compilation of 10 little kids running into the sliding glass door, smashing their face just for laughs. But here's the thing. That's what's actually happening to us in the spirit. The Lord, that's what he's saying is there's actually gla a glass wall there. We don't see and we're hitting it or we're getting damaged by it or we're busting our face on it and getting a black eye, but we don't even know. And we're like, man, what's up? What's with all the attacks, man? Um, why did that happen? Or wh what is this? Or what is that? And then we want to react in the flesh and in defense and in pride. So then now we're walking, you begin to walk in a sinful way because you're reacting in the flesh. You're, you're, because basically you're hitting your face on a, on an unseen spiritual wall, on an unseen truth that God needs to expose. And so when you're, when that's happening, then you get, you're getting offended and then you're angry and then you're prideful. And then 
you're everything's about defending yourself or whatever. And so the Lord needs us to understand what's happening. We have to be okay with the fact it's just like the scripture says, they see, but they never see. They hear, but they never hear. They can see our, okay, here's an example. An unsaved person, do their eyeballs work? I mean, in general, they get glasses maybe or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They have eyes. They can walk around and see and live, right? But are they blind? Yep. Without Christ, you're blind. And so it's the same concept here, but, but the Lord is talking about his people, people that already know him. He said there are walls in the way, spiritual hindrances, uh, demonic things that have been built up that you can't see because they're clear. They look clear. They're not clear. You can see through them, but they're actually in the way. It's just like a very clean sliding glass door and a child doesn't see that the door is closed and smashes into it. It's because they can see through it. It's so clear. Then they smack their face into the door and then everybody in the house is laughing after you clean up blood if there is any if there's something. And so the thing is, is, um, that's a funny analogy, but the reality is it doesn't feel good when we're hitting a wall. It doesn't feel good when there's a demonic block. It doesn't feel good when the enemy has been trying to raise a standard against us and trying to block all that God wants to do. It can be very frustrating, but the Lord is saying, accept what he's doing. Don't accept smashing into a sliding glass door, okay? Make sure the thing is open before you walk through it. But the thing is, is the point he's getting at is he's going to be knocking those unseen, those walls that are actually there. The same way this window on my, on my door is here, the window on the back, you can see through it, but you can't get through it. It's a block. It's blocked. It's solid, even though you can see through it. The Lord wants to remove those from your life, from my life, from the body of Christ, because they're in our way, but we don't see them. And so sometimes he has to come in with a hammer and smash some things down, smash, and it can be ugly when that's happening. Glass gets everywhere. Uh, uh, it's loud. It makes a crunch noise like... And that is, um, oops, that is basically, um, the truth being exposed, God opening your eyes. And, and the thing is, you're probably thinking, well, you know, that that's really hard. Like, I don't want to have to have smashed glass, you know, version, whatever. I don't want to hit the door with my face to get woke up. You don't have to. This is what this word is about. The Lord is saying he's about to remove the walls. Trust him and let him embrace it. Don't fight it. Don't get, don't jump on bandwagons. Don't get caught up in it with flesh, pride, um, defensiveness, anger, frustration, and then showing that that does nobody any good. You're just getting people to jump on your defensive anger bandwagon. And so don't jump on bandwagons. The enemy is totally messing with you if you're doing that. The Lord needs you to understand his ways and understand that when things are happening that sometimes seem bad are not bad. He is working. He is pruning. He is removing. He is uprooting. He is pulling up and tearing down. There's work that he's doing because he knows what has to happen for a foundation to be proper, for uh, things to be built correctly. And sometimes he needs to navigate us in a different direction. Sometimes we need to um, get our vision cleared up. And so we think we have clear vision. 
But if there's a glass wall there, you aren't getting through it. You can see through it, but it's in your way. And so the Lord said, he's, he's right now, he is preparing and is removing the glass walls in your life. And we're going to pray here in just a minute and you're going to declare it and you're going to receive it. You're going to believe it. You're going to embrace it because here's the thing. We do no good if we work against God, if we can't handle his ways, if we can't let him do things the way he has to do them. So here's an example, another example. When the glory comes in, demons manifest. It looks ugly. They sound ugly. They screech and they make noises. And if you want to be scared, you could be scared. Um, but the thing is, why? Because when the glory is at work, the demons can't stay. So then they begin to manifest. And then all kinds of weird things happen. But it's a good, it's good. It's not bad. The, the demonic realm is being exposed when that's happening. You don't know that demon's there until they start to manifest. And then that trouble or problem or whatever the demon's causing, it, as it's releasing, it's letting you know it's there. So God is doing that to let you know it's there to, so you can deal with it. Not run from it not be angry at it, not be defensive, but deal with the demons. He doesn't show us demons for us to either be afraid or get offended. That's retarded. Sorry. Okay. I did not mean to use that word. That is just so silly. Okay. That's silly. We can't be afraid of the truth. We can't be afraid of what God needs to do. We can't be so afraid of being a little bit uncomfortable that we don't let him do what he needs to do and we don't embrace it and we don't trust him. And so this is what God is saying. My people, I love you. There's glass walls in your life. They're in your way. They have been brought in by the enemy. They have been sent to deceive. They have been built up and raised up to deceive you, to throw you off track to think you're seeing clearly, but you're not, you actually have blocks in your way. He needs to remove them and he needs you to let him and he needs you to trust him while he removes the glass walls that you're not seeing. And so what happens typically is what happens when the kid, sometimes adults run into the sliding glass door and they smash their face. It hurts. They're okay. So here's the thing. We're all laughing, but they're not laughing and it's a surprise, right? They're just like, yeah, kapam. Okay. That's what it feels like when a glass wall is going to come down. The Lord said, it's going to feel like, whoa, I didn't expect this. Where'd this come from? And you're going to want to panic or be hurt or, or have some kind of fleshly reaction. And the Lord's like, stop it. Let him do what he needs to do. Keep your peace and keep your head straight in the season of him working and him exposing and him removing. Those walls have got to go for your good and for his glory. Here's the thing, you guys. Woo, I can feel the glory. I'm already all getting all sweaty. Woo. If the sliding glass door is not removed and it's locked up, you're never going to get past it. You're going to think things are clear and you're going to smack the door and you're going to keep getting banged up and a bloody nose and a bruised face. I don't even know. And the Lord is saying he wants to remove those things that are in the way. And it's not easy. But he needs you to trust him. He needs you to know it's heaven at work. The glory is preparing. Everyone's being taken to another level, you guys. And you need to understand. The devil ain't playing right now. And neither is the Holy Ghost in fire. He needs the remnant to be ready. 
we can't be ready if we don't embrace his ways. If we can't handle the fire and if we can't handle the truth. And I'm here to tell you right now, the truth is not always easy. It is like a slap in the face. It is like you've run into a glass wall you didn't see, a glass window you didn't see. God's removing them because that lie that you've been believing has got to go. Those lies that you're not seeing have got to go. And it could be simple. I, I don't know what your walls could be. It's between you and God. But I'm here to tell you, it's a beautiful thing if you let God remove your walls. And the Lord is asking you, will you let him? Don't fear the unseen. Don't fear the truth as it's exposed. Trust that all things that get brought to the light are for your good and for my glory. For the moving forward of the end time remnant. You guys, we have to trust him in these seasons. The enemy wants anything and everything he can pull and muster up to throw us off track. And you know what the reason is? Delay. And I just released that word about that. You need to go and watch it if you didn't. And I walk you through, you get, um, I break delay, the spirit of delay off you. It's all about delay. The enemy only puts up blocks to delay us. He thinks he can stop the inevitable. He thinks he's really going to be able to stop the real end time remnant for bringing in the harvest. It's what it's all about. If he can, if he can pick us off one by one and slow us down and steal our fire and make us get all disillusioned and jump on bandwagons and get, get all off track, then he's winning because then guess what happens? We aren't doing what we're called to do. We're doing less and delay is happening. It's all demonic. It's all a scam of the devil. And the walls need to go bye-bye. So let's pray right now. You guys ready? If you're in a position, lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Okay? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just praise you and I glorify you. Lord, we honor you. And we say, we say thank you that you do not leave us the way we are. Thank you that you do not leave walls up. Thank you that that you care about the unseen, the things we can't see. And so, Lord, we say thank you and we honor you that you care enough about us to remove the things that are in our way. You don't leave us the way we are. Your love is so great, we can't fathom it. And so, Lord, we say right now, we embrace the removal of the glass walls. Every wall we can't see. We embrace the removal and we say, take it, Jesus, shatter it. Take the sledgehammer and shatter it. Get it out of our way. We want it out, out, out. We want it moved. We don't want any more blocks, Lord. We don't want any more opportunity for the spirit of delay to stop your work. And we say, take the walls out, Lord. Take the walls out. We will accept the truth that's behind every wall. And we will press on and we will bring in the harvest and we will submit to it. And we will not walk in fear of the unseen. We will allow you to do what you need to do. And Lord, we just say, thank you. Thank you that you're removing these unseen blocks so we can move forward and go reach the souls that you've called us to reach. And we, we just honor you, Lord. And we embrace all the work and we say, we partner with you. We will jump on no other bandwagons. And so, Lord, I, I pray for every person that the walls in their life will be exposed, shattered, and removed in the name of Jesus Christ. That the spirit of delay will have nowhere to attach, to keep pulling them back, pulling them back, keeping them distracted by things that are not important and keeping their mind focused on things that are not important that you have not called them to fight or, or battles you've not called them to, to work towards winning, those are battles that are already won. So God, I just pray that every person would allow you to move and I declare their walls gone right now and shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. And I release supernatural grace 
and mercy over every person. Woo! To receive your will and your way and to walk in it without fear and to let you do the work. And I release that grace to fill them, Lord, as you remove the walls and you expose truth, but you also get rid of the blocks and make a way for miracle signs and wonders and souls to be brought in. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo! Man, you guys, I love you. Get my book, Anointed to Win. Subscribe to this channel. We're going to be having some new things coming up. We are very excited about. I will do a separate video on that. But we're going to be starting a um, membership where you can set it up monthly and, and have an auto pay to where you don't have to think about it. And then you're going to get content, um, all the e-courses I have for free, and every new thing that comes out. Um, content that's not available to everybody on YouTube or just to the public. And so very excited, very much looking forward to that. Um, preparing to create more e-courses and um, be watching for that membership. It's going to be added to our website and it's going to be easy. You can just sign up like Spotify or Amazon or whatever and just, it's just going to be a small fee every month. The goal is, is to build a base of members and you will receive all kinds of things that nobody else gets from me and the ministry. And then that will help support what we do, the, the fire nights and the events and all that. So be watching for that. If you are interested in becoming a member, we'll keep you posted. Amen. Because here's the reality, you guys. I have to be real with you. You expect me to. I am anyway. Um ministries are typically nonprofit. what we do is all by fundraising we can't do it without your help and so these memberships and systems and as we get them going it'll be like a spotify subscription you won't even know it'll just come out of your account and it's no big deal but you'll be giving to a ministry if we get enough of you i have a lot of subscribers here and i have what how many of you have already watched this video I don't know if you made it to the end. You've watched this video. I mean, I get a lot of views on my on the words I release. If 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 even a couple of thousand of you became members, I'm not going to limit God. I want 20,000 of you. Some of you are very faithful. If you became a subscription member and you could get all my e-courses and other stuff I create that doesn't go to the public, then um that and when, if we were to get enough of you doing that monthly, it would literally cover all the outreaches we're doing. And we wouldn't even have to worry about that side of it. Amen. Not that we're worried about it, but you know what I mean. We have to all work together. And so I love you guys. And um, I will talk to you later. Be watching for the next word. I have a premier word coming. It is going to be the next wealth transfer word and prophecy. And I'm going to be teaching on keys to receiving and being um, on the receiving end of the wealth transfer. What I've already taught over the last three years. I'm gonna go over certain keys and I'm gonna teach about them a little bit so you can understand your part in participating with God as he does the removal of the wealth from the wicked and transferring it to the righteous. Amen and amen. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I don't think I'm forgetting anything and I'm out.